Uh, this whole situation with Jonathan Majors, his his now better be for good ex girlfriend. Uh, and he got into a little bit of an altercation. So it was said. The evidence really didn't come out to showing that, honestly. And um, this right here, before I say anything else, I want y'all to watch this video. Because this had me weak. So, video released to Jonathan Major's uh, trial shows the actor's ex-girlfriend chase him down in New York City after what prosecutors say was a violent march encounter inside the backseat of a car service. All right? Now, now watch this, please. She gets out. Well, he tried initially right here. Let's go back. Right here. This is where it all supposedly started. She was trying to get out the car. He pushed her back in the car. Now, to explain to that, to that point right there, she took his cell phone from him thinking that she had seen something that had to do with infidelity. So she snatched the phone from, he's trying to get the phone back from her. The driver in the car said, Jonathan Majors never put a hand on her, never struck her, anything like that. He heard the, the back and forth, and he goes, if anything, she was the one who started with the, phys the physical nature of the incident. So she takes his phone. He's trying to get his phone back. Now, maybe he did do some shit where he was cheating on her. Maybe there was some infidelity going on. Doesn't give her the right to take his belongings from him. And in fact, there are laws that go that are against that. And if you have to take it back or try to get it back, there is an allotment of force that's allowed. But instead, it seems like he was, from what's understood from this video, he tried getting his phone back. And what you see there is him trying to get her back in the car as he's trying to get out of the car. And this is the shit that ensues from there. He's going across the street trying to get away from her. He breaks. She's grabbing him. He has to push her off of him. This man is running running blocks from his girlfriend this ain't just a block or two it was like four five eight some crazy look at him he in full sprint shawty is getting winded you can't keep up with a man like that dude is huge and he's athletic as fuck she just put herself in jeopardy of getting hit by a car just to chase him down around that corner building He's still going. Now, all right, all right. The reason I wanted to show you all that is because Jonathan Majors was found guilty of two charges out of the four in that case. They are two of the lesser charges, but one of those charges specifically was unintentional assault. And that was because he took her and put her back in the car. Didn't hit her. The markings that were on her ears, you guys can look up this case in and of itself. I don't want to go all the way back to the beginning of it. I just want to break this down real quick because it's insane to me what this says. He didn't cause the scratch that was on the back of her ear from what was understood. In fact, after this incident, she went out partying with a bunch of random people. She's on camera all over New York where she's out getting blitzed. And when I say blitzed, Shawty was so drunk, she walked into a wall. You know how drunk you got to be to walk into a wall? Then it was shown where some other things, there was like two or three random dudes that she didn't know who were there with her, some random woman who tried stopping her, I guess, during the, uh, the, the chasing incident, and she was just all over the place. Jonathan Majors goes home, 
unlocks his door, finds her passed out in the crib, in the closet, if I remember correctly. She was passed out, fully clothed, on the ground, sprawled out, had the whole, like, I done drank everything in town look on her face, passed out. He calls the cops. The cops come. Somehow they end up whoop, pulling the two of them apart because, let me explain something to you, and I will, I'll go back to this in a second. I'll, I'll say why this is very legit in what I'm saying. Y'all can feel like I'm just, you know, throwing a throwing a idea out there, but nah, this is legit as fuck. They saw how big this motherfucker was and was like, oh, no, he did something to her. So, of course, they talked to her. She then go, her controller got disconnected. Facts, facts. She was out there doing too much. She got back to the crib. X, Y, A, B, none of it worked. Circle, square, triangle, all her shit was unplugged. And she just, bloop, the whole system, shutting down, just went down right in the closet. But essentially, they separate the two, and she comes off saying that he put his hands on her because she had little bruises on her fingers, things like that. Now, there's multiple places where these bruises could have come out or happened while she was out partying all goddamn night. Because, mind you, in other videos, it shows her going through her purse, her purse and grabbing stuff and everything else on hands that supposedly bruised. Maybe. Let's, let's say just maybe that during the tussle of him trying to grab her uh, his phone back from her, maybe he bruised her hand at that point while trying to grab the phone. He grabbed her finger, something like that. But yet she was still using that hand throughout the night. If it was so busted up and bruised up and battered and everything else, you're not using that hand for shit. Then the whole cut on the ear situation. You went out to clubs when you, listen, let me tell you something. I don't know if you've ever gotten a cut behind your ear like that. That, for no reason, causes the most ridiculous throbbing headache you could possibly ever have. But somehow, you went out and were partying with that going on. Now, maybe the alcohol took control at that point. It did its duty. Had her numbing in a motherfucker. But then again, now that just screams, hmm, maybe she, <laughs> maybe she fucked up. Maybe she did something that caused these issues. Because there was... No evidence to him hitting her, to him ever have hitting her, or anyone else for that matter. The dude ran. This man is massive. He ran from that little tiny woman to pull himself out of the situation. Now, I'm sorry. If you run from a situation and you still get charged What, what is a man supposed to do at that point? Of course, Disney fired him. Gone. His role's out of there. His career, shot. And even though these are not major, uh, major, um, uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm, wow. Even though these aren't major crimes or anything like that, they're not even uh, felonies. They are both misdemeanors and low-ended misdemeanors at that. Still, it tarnishes everything that he's worked for. Now, let me tell you something real quick. Most of y'all don't know how tall I am. I'm not that tall. I'm taller than Kevin Hart. I'm taller than quite a few people. I'm, I'm tall enough, all right? But I'm big. I'm wide. I have very broad shoulders, big arms, a bit like thin waist, but like big in the upper body and in the legs. And the other day, I went out, had on my shorts, threw on my jacket. I'm like, I'm going to go out and take a walk, maybe do a run. I walked outside, and as I'm walking to go to where I'm going to go and do the run, I see somebody in front of me walking towards me. Blonde hair, I've long features, scream female to me. I'm not out here thinking about her. I'm not. I'm thinking about where I'm going right now to go and get my workout in, come back, eat something, shower, go to bed. I move very quietly though. Be, I just you know, martial arts, whatever. I just move very quietly. You don't hear me. <laughs> I'm not making a ton of noise when I walk. But she's looking down at her phone, and I see the light like flash up in her eyes a couple of times, and this just blew my 
fucking mind because as I'm walking past her, I step off to the side of, because in my head, it, I'm so glad I won't have to worry about this anymore. But I walk off to off the, uh, the sidewalk, off towards the street a little bit to give her some space to walk past me. And this girl screams. Ah! It's like the, I look back and I'm looking at her and she goes, oh my God, you scared me. And I go, I laughed at her. I said, no, I didn't. You scared yourself, not paying attention. And I just kept moving. I just kept walking. And it tripped me out because then in seeing this too, like it made me think to a few different uh, times where, you know, I've walked into places and stuff like that. And like people just like look because of the way that I am physically. And that instant right there very much screamed to me, this is how shit is in America. When women say, oh, I'm afraid to walk down the street and I'm afraid, like, okay, I get it. There's some dudes that do off the wall, dumb, fucked up shit, but not all of us are doing it. In this case, it brings me to that thought to where it's like, as a guy, you're fucked if you ever get put in a position to where DV is on the table. If this man ran from her and still caught charges, come on, bruh. What are you supposed to do at that point? Let somebody beat your ass, drag all over you? Because obviously before, when he started trying to run and he had to push her off of him, she was latched onto him. Now imagine if he started running. He'd be dragging her little ass across the ground. She'd have got scarred up and all kinds of other stuff. And it would have been much worse for him even still. But to be able to try and take yourself out of a situation and yet still catch the L for it, bruh, I, 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 I don't know. The, it just screams that the justice system is fucked. Because from the get-go, and Disney, just the same. They're fucked. From the get-go, he was released. He was guilty before ever proven to be guilty. And in the United States, it's supposed to be a thing of innocent until proven guilty. At this point, though, from what I'm seeing, it's people having to prove their innocence instead. This is a sad, sad situation. I don't know the man. I don't know him from anybody else. But the fact is, wrong is wrong. And what it screams, what it screams for her to get zero, to have to hold zero accountability, in this situation where she started the altercation, where she chased him down the street, which is negligent as can be, which could have gotten him hit by a car, her hit by a car, caused accidents, anything and everything, negligent as can be, yet somehow she gets no consequences for that. But he catches consequences for taking her and getting her off of him so he could remove himself from the situation. That, that, that's the court just saying, as men, fuck you. Women hold all the power and all the you know rights to these situations. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. You have to recognize how wrong this actually is. But you know what? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this whole situation, if you've looked at it at all. I mean, what else? Tell me what else he could have done other than get her off of him and run from the scene the way that he did. What more could there have been? Because I personally don't know. Because that's one of the things that they actually tell you. They actually remove yourself from the scene as quickly as possible. And, yo. Man put the wheels on. He had the lab graffitis running. And yet, still caught some charges for it. And possibly, I don't he's not gonna face jail time, but it does uh the sentence does run up to a year in jail plus X thousands of dollars of fines, so on and so forth. It's insane. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna get uh switched over, probably hop into some gaming. I don't know, 